Market Doomsayer Mark Drive. Doom Faber has launched a racially charged diatribe in his latest newsletter, alleging that the U.S. is great, primarily because it is ruled by white people. The eccentric gloom, Boom Doom Report author, who often speaks on CNBC and other financial media, generally forecasting some type of market downturn, focused his latest comments on the racial conflicts happening around the country. A CNBC spokesperson said it will not book him in the future. And thank God white people populated America, and not the blacks. Otherwise, the U.S. would look like Zimbabwe, which it might look like one day anyway, but at least America enjoyed 200 years in the economic and political sun under a white majority, he wrote. I am not a racist, but the reality, no matter how politically incorrect, needs to be spelled out. Reached for comment via email. Faber did not back away from his statements to CNBC. If stating some historical facts makes me a racist, then I suppose that I am a racist. For years, Japanese were condemned because they deny the Nanking massacre, he told CNBC in an email. In addition to the brief statement, he sent a link to a USA Today story titled, Banned in Biloxi, To Kill a Mockingbird Raises Old Censorship Debate, Focusing on the Harper Lee Classic. In the newsletter, Faber's comments addressed the confrontation in Charlottesville, Virginia, directly. Protesters clashed in August over a white nationalist rally called Unite the Right in Charlottesville, where officials were debating the removal of a Robert E. Lee statue from the University of Virginia campus. The violence sparked a national debate over race and monuments that honor prominent Confederate figures that Faber decided to weigh in on. Faber called the monument statues of honorable people whose only crime was to defend what all societies had done for more than 5,000 years keep a part of the population enslaved.